In this video, I'm gonna be going over Backrooms Level 24, aka The Moon. Literally, I didn't know this level existed before I made this video, so we're gonna explore it together. But before that explanation starts, drop a sub on the channel if you want. It's free to do, and if you like my content, it helps out a ton. Now, let's get into the video. Backrooms level 24, or the moon, or even as it's sometimes called, the study, is a class 1 difficulty and is safe and secure with a small entity count, even though there's only one entity here. The level itself looks like a plastic model of the moon that's attached to other planets in the galaxy or solar system. At the very center of these plastic planet models is an LED sun. The weird thing is that the level is accurate to the size of the moon, sun, and planets from real life, but it's plastic. Interesting. The moon is the only planet that you can get to though, and it's around 14.6 million square miles in size. None of the planets here have any gravitational pull to each other, so it's not exactly like reality, but it's the same size to the person on the moon. And each of these planets is connected to each other and then to the sun with metal wires that slowly spins them around each other. The area around the model is really blurry, so you kind of can't tell what it is, but from what you can see, it looks like the inside side of a Victorian era style office or study room. You know what I'm talking about, those old style rooms where the guys sit with paintings on the walls and stuff. So if you haven't guessed by now, this level takes place on a model of the solar system inside of maybe a glass case. But the main theory is that everyone that gets here somehow shrinks down to smaller than an ant, I can only assume, when you instantly get here. That way you match the scale of the planet itself. So the moon actually isn't as big as the real moon. It's small, but you're also small, so it seems big. There's one base here from the BNTG group, and it's a plastic mine. Now pretty much they mine this plastic for building materials and weapon materials, stuff like that, and then they take it back to the level they came from. But this planet is pretty much an infinite source of plastic for weapons and stuff. There's one entity here, like I said, and he's actually not in the moon or in the solar system. He's outside in that Victorian era room, and he can only be seen sometimes. The miners here have named this guy Buford, or Beauford, and very rarely he'll come near those planets and sit on a chair and read some kind of book. It looks like he's wearing a tuxedo and is bald. Kind of sounds like me. No one is sure if he's a faceling or if he's a person or what he is. It's too blurry to see, but sometimes Buford cleans the planets with a towel, and when this happens, any wanderer under that towel can be squished or affected by the quote-unquote earthquakes the cleaning causes. So watch out for that. To enter the level, you can jump through a moon painting on level 57, but you can also come here from level 1, which is the main entrance. The BNTG group that mines here hasn't actually said how that entrance from level 1 works, but it's what they use to get here and go back, so that's how you have to exit. You have to follow them out. Nice! So that was level 24. I think it's one of the only ones where people get shrunk down to the size of ants to live inside of a model kit of planets. That makes it unique, I reckon. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and supporting me. Check out my second channel, and if you want to help it get to 50k, you can drop a sub. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Comment on this video, Brugs in Space, if you're still watching, because if you do that, I'm going to throw a heart at your comment because I appreciate you watching the whole thing. Thank you for everything, and I will see you in the next video, which is over, Backrooms Level 25. See you then.